Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is the Information Workplace, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll take a look at social computing and Web 2.0 as new information workplace tools. The term social media refers to the use of web-based and mobile technologies to turn communication into an interactive dialogue. Social media may take on many different forms, including internet forums, blogs and microblogs, wikis, podcasts, and social bookmarking. It differs from traditional or industrial media in that it's relatively inexpensive and accessible to anyone, even private individuals, who want to publish or access information. And as such, it's a great equalizer, even as it leads to eruptions of information that may or may not be vetted or even true. Information workers are wise to consider both sides of this equation as they search, find, and make use of the gobs of content that's now available. Social media is part of what has come to be known as Web 2.0, a term that's associated with web applications that facilitate participatory information sharing, interoperability, user-centered design and collaboration. This is as opposed to traditional websites, representative of the Web 1.0, that limit users to the passive viewing of content that was created for them. In a 2006 interview, World Wide Web creator Tim Berners-Lee called the term Web 2.0 a piece of jargon because his vision for the Web was for it to be a collaborative medium, a place where we could all meet and read and write so he calls it the read-write web instead. Whatever we call it, the fact is that today's web allows us to interact with information as never before, and the phrase Web 3.0 is already being bandied about to encompass the mainstreaming of a great many new web-based capabilities like semantic search, anticipatory retrieval, in which the web somehow knows what you want to see next, and production quality audio and video. Bringing this to the desktop, or laptop, or smartphone, requires further advances in bandwidth and technology, of course, but it also will kick the notion of the information workplace into a higher gear. This module took a look at social computing and Web 2.0 as new information workplace tools. In the next, you may wish to review the module that covers the role instant messaging plays in collaboration. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.